Good morning, neighbors. Sing along if you know it. In this age of deception, proving God's election, yes, I wonder just when it will end. Oh, we're looking for the rapture. Will we ever live around you? And I wonder how many will go in. Yes, he's returning. He will call his bride to meet him from this earth. And her heart's burning. has waited for this moment from her birth and the day that we are living and the things that God is giving yes we know his returning won't be long and the things that we are seeing from the word he's revealing yes we know that this world cannot go on yes he's returning he will call his bride to meet him from this earth and her heart's burning she has waited for this moment from her birth and the revelation of the word brings stimulation and the bride knows that she is not alone and the message of the hour when it's brought with God's power yes the people know the rapture's coming on yes he's returned will call his bride to meet him from this earth and her heart's burning she has waited for this moment from her birth you know when you think about that she has waited for this moment from her birth uh i know of girls you know when the, from the time they really understand what marriage is and things they start building a hope chest of everything you know that they'll that they're going to need and all these things and uh, you know we have a hope and we're preparing you know uh, we know that he's prepared a place for us but we're preparing we want to bring something to him as well you know, and we're waiting for that moment when the bridegroom would come for his bride, the bride of Christ. And this song, you know, it really, as we've been saying the last few days, it's, it's there, there's an expectation. There's a, you know, I'm longing for that day. You know, and uh, there comes times in your life, I, I don't know if I've ever shared this on here before, but years ago in a service, I was I was singing after the, the minister and... Uh, I was singing more of a contemporary, more modern type songs because the young people were at the altar, you know, and they were just, they were just crying out, Lord, use us, Lord. You know, we're here to really to build up our future reward, you know, to, to do things for you, Lord God, that would please you and these gifts that you've given us that we want to return to you. And then, uh, I don't know how long I sang, it was uh, quite a while, and then suddenly the song came to my mind. It was a completely different song. Uh, it's a different style, different everything, and uh, 
Can You Imagine, Can You Dream? And uh, so I was like, well, I really feel led to sing that song. I don't know why. It really doesn't go with the flow of the service. And as soon as I started singing that, suddenly it was like the anointing transferred because the young people, they began you know, to dry their eyes and kind of stand up and just be in the presence of the Lord. And then suddenly it was the older ones I see who were just crying. And, you know, and the Lord, what he showed me was this. He said, there comes, there's a point in your life where you're really building things up. You're working for the Lord. But there comes a time when you know the end is nearer than the beginning. And I'm really looking for my heavenly reward. Well, this song, you know, it's really speaking, you know, uh, there's a, there needs to be a desire within the bride. Lord, you know, I want to make myself ready, but I'm longing and longing more for that day of your returning. And uh, again, this in this age of deception, you know, it's proving God's elect. And uh, I like it because, you know, when I've spoke to, uh, and, I, and I, we've probably all been guilty of it in some, res uh, res some respect, because there needs to be this desire to, uh, to do a work for the Lord. But when you get towards the end of your life, you realize, you know, I'm, I can't help it. I'm just looking more for that day. And I, but I remember talking, and I probably have felt this way. You know, this is what I was saying a second ago about we probably all have done this, maybe. I don't know. Maybe not everyone. Uh, but when I talked to people, they said, you know, young people who are just starting out, they said, you know, I want the Lord. I want to go to heaven. I want the Lord to come back. But there's also this desire you know, to have a family and to have a home and, you know, all these things. And uh, that's not entirely wrong because you have to have these desires because then you'll go out and do them and the life has to go on. And but there's also there always, always got to be this within your heart. Yes, I want to have I have children of my own. I have a home. I have these things. There's things I want to do. But my greatest desire is, is uh, for his returning. You know, where, because then these same people are like, you know, but I want to have a family. I want to have this. That's good. But now they see they have a family. They realize, you know what? This world is messed up. And I'm almost afraid to raise my children in this. Lord God, have mercy. And and, and his land, we, we just trust that it's going to be greater. And so we're going to read in Matthew chapter 24, in verse 29, immediately after the tribulation of those days, the sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light. The stars will fall from heaven and the powers of the heavens will be shaken. Then the sign of the Son of Man will appear in heaven and then all the tribes of the earth will mourn and they will see the Son of Man coming up or coming on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he will send his angels with the great sound of a trumpet and they will gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other. What an amazing thing that we'll get to experience. You know, and I pray that, you know, there is a winning side, and this is always going to be the Lord's winning side. But this is, like I said, this will be a great, wonderful day, and He will send His angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they will gather together His elect from the four winds, from one of end of heaven to the other, from all around. God's going to bring in His elect. But we read the verse before that. Then the sign of the Son of Man will appear in heaven, and then all the tribes of the earth will mourn, and they will see the sound, Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory you know go there's going to be a morning you know but as he's bringing the his elect in but please i'm begging you if you're not sure if you're on the outside you know if you're not the one of the elect be one of the elect this will be a time like no other and when i've done these do daily devotions there's so many songs i mean i could sing probably i mean i have no idea how long i think if i just picked out songs speak speaking about heaven there's always a longing, Lord, this is our end goal. This is where we actually belong. This is home. This is where we want to go. This world is like a trial period of trying to spread the news to try to get everyone. That's our calling, to get everyone to go who is willing, who, can, who, will, who has a desire to be there. <coughs> but to think there will be such rejoicing, and yet for some there will be such great mourning. You know, that's a, that's a terrible thought. But I pray that for all of us, it's a desire that the Lord would return. Because in Hebrews chapter 9 and verse 27 and 28, And as it is appointed for men to die once, but after this, the judgment. So Christ was offered once to bear the sins of many. To those who eagerly await for him, 
he will appear a second time apart from sin for salvation. I like that to those who eagerly wait for him. You know, there has to be that. There, there needs to be an eagerness. Lord, come come quickly. Lord, heaven. Oh, Lord. You know, eternity. Lord, this is so wonderful. But to think that there will be some is uh, just will be a nightmare. That's a terrible thought. So please make your choice today. Today is the day of salvation. In Jesus Christ's name, amen.